Woman does OF to honor her grandfather. Stop. Here we go. My name is Jubilee. I am 25 and I do have OnlyFans. How long have you been doing that? Just about like two months. What got you into it? I lost my grandpa. He's very close to me. I kind of want to go with his legacy and I kind of want to do it for him. Wait a minute. You want to do OnlyFans to honor your grandfather's legacy? More Was like, he like a corn a, star or something? No, it's kind of like um, I've been wanting to kind of like keep his legacy going. So that's what they're saying now. Even the other girl is like. So he didn't make much money and that's like a way that I thought would help out. Wow! You said he passed away? Yeah, he passed away. But so I, help him out beyond the grave? I'm just confused. He was, he was, you said he was a minute. Let me get this straight. You started an OnlyFans to pay homage to your now deceased grandfather, who was a religious man and minister. That doesn't make sense. Do you think your grandfather, do you think he would approve of the OnlyFans? Um, do you think he would disapprove? I think he would support me, but... Oh, it. Use your common sense! You mentioned uh, that you don't want to bring shame on your family. Do you think it might possibly bring shame on them to do nude stuff? So if I go deep down into to my mom's opinion about it. She might be open to it. She's a really cool mom, so. Is your dad still in the picture? I've never met my dad. Never met my dad. Oh, makes sense. <laughs> yeah. 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 Fuck oh my god. Sorry to hear that. It's okay. I don't really need a dad. I think I could handle myself. Sure. I don't even want to make fun of her. I feel more sad. She's just a broken, confused. And the only father figure she had was her grandfather, probably. If you had a kid and your kid had a kid that was a girl and that did OnlyFans, would you be proud if you were making a lot of money and she was bringing in 10K a month? <laughs> and how's that even honoring legacy? So he died not rich and then you make money now so you kept his legacy a what? Yeah, because there's so many different options you could have chose for your occupation. Nobody questioned why she had OnlyFans, so when she started speaking about it, she was confused. <laughs> I think it was Damn. her wanting to do OnlyFans, but thinking of a way to kind of cushion it and for people to accept it more. So she said, Oh, so well, you think she just threw that in there? Yeah, I think so. Top comments. Why can't they just be honest? Say you couldn't or didn't want a regular job and thought it was easy exactly. money. I was on the side that she's just actually just broken it. Because don't think she possibly yeah. thinks that. Okay. I think she actually is. No disrespect. <laughs> brain dead. That's what I was saying. I, I, I genuinely thought she like was just off in general. And like the words coming out of her mouth, she believed. Like nobody has ever checked her and said, yo, here's the way things are. Yeah. And to say that on the podcast, you'd have been better off saying like, like yeah, my, I'm trying to support my mom. Like we have no money or whatever. Or but pop. She's got some illness. She can't work. I have no dad. Grand, grandpa's dead. It's just me taking care of everybody. Because there was one girl I remember that she said she had a, she didn't have uh, health insurance and she needed to pay for a chemotherapy, had cancer, did a whole bunch of OnlyFans, made 80K, got taken care of it. And now she beat it. So I was like, that one, I was like, well, damn. She flipped it, but. This yeah, is actually well, sad. If she's broken yep, so much that she doesn't make sense, mm -hmm. but not in an entitled or bad way. She's lost and doesn't even That's realize it. I uh, think it's true. Wait, she needed this. She needed to she, say yes. this and for people to say stuff about it. When you're in a society, school, community, whatever, you will get positive and negative like reinforcement and reaction to things you say, things you do, which then make you, you challenge your own beliefs and you start to have develop a personality and perspectives on things. She has had no like external someone say, hey, you're wrong. What you said there was stupid. She don't even know what's going on. She lost puppy. Yeah. You know the white guy, what's his name, Brian? Brian. Um, you know, he was like, oh, yeah. this is gonna go so He's like, I've talked to these girls for six hours. Finally, you made something yeah. worth clipping. I hope that she goes to therapy. I hope she gets the help that she needs. And if your grandpa's broke, then just start an OnlyFans. Damn, he rolling over in his grave right now. Fuck! <laughs> She's on the whatever <laughs> podcast. Keep y'all's legacy going. So I picked this out. This is a clip of Timothy Chalamet, your guys' favorite actor. Oh, yeah. Surprisingly, I haven't seen one movie that he's <laughs> Me in. Me neither. I, I meant to watch Dune, but I never came across to watch it, so. Yeah, what movies has he even been? Yeah, you're right. I've he was in uh, the motherfucking thing. It was like a post apocalyptic it was don't look up don't look up he was he in was like in the talking to the cashier like okay that's the only time i've seen I him. only see him on netflix one time but in this clip he's doing a scene and then a camera hits him oh and then they do it again what he does after he gets hit with the camera i'll play the clip and then i'll he talk about it, it. Oh. oh oh my gosh wow that was a clip. That so, was some bone on metal. And I saw that, I was like, oh, oh shit, you got hit with the camera, oh, that's crazy. Ah. And then the people saw what they said to each other. He gets hit with the camera. Oh. And then the red hair woman starts rubbing his back. Play it again and I'm gonna see if I could see it. Let's see. <laughs> wow. Car and she said, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So he said, stop rubbing my back, stop rubbing my back. And then she says, I'm so sorry, 
I'm a mother, it's my instinct. Wait, I didn't even see him say that. Yeah, and he, and you look at it, HD, it's what he says. Stop rubbing my back, stop rubbing my back. Uh huh. When I saw that, I looked at it, I said, oh, that is what he said. I don't see anything wrong with that because they seem close to it, like they're working together. Like somebody recently fell in front of me and like I helped pick them up because they fell. Mm -hmm. So it's like, and they're my friend. I wouldn't expect- Or coworker. That, yeah, or coworker, anybody, you wouldn't expect them to say, like, don't t touch me. Right? Well, so, oh, no, I'm just trying to help. Like, it wasn't even like that. Like, <laughs> yeah, and her response is valid. The, I'm a mother, mother instinct. It's like, yeah, she's rubbing your back. Like, hey, sweetie, is everything okay? Like, I didn't. Like, damn, you just got hit pretty fucking hard. And I'm not, like, famous, so I guess I've never had to deal with people, like, touching me or something. And sure. again, you know, no one gets to touch you necessarily. Yeah. But does that come across as arrogant, or am I reading too deep into it? It does come across as that. Or did he feel like she was babying him? Like, I can't take that. If I fell down, an old uh, mom-aged woman was behind me. Oh, are you okay, sweetie? Like, oh, I'm okay, appreciate it. Don't touch me. Yeah, I would at least be like, oh, no, I'm fine. It's all good. You don't need to do that. Oh. And yeah, because he almost calls the, calls the shots because he's the big actor or whatever. <laughs> so it's like, let's not take any more time with this little incident. It's not a big deal. Let's just don't run my back and <laughs> let's go. <laughs> I'm curious to know what you guys think in the comments. Are you guys a fan of Timothy Chalamet? Chal Timothy Chalamet a bingo. Do you think it was arrogant do you think he was perfectly fine and you don't view him any other type of way i'm curious this is called free range parenting it's a very healthy way to raise children let me know if y'all think this is healthy i've seen a few problematic things already Okay. Well, no, because <laughs> you're hey, teaching them fine. that there's no rules to life now. You're teaching them to do whatever. Like, And then you also got to look at the health repercussions for letting your kid drink coffee. It's not good, bro. The you're the thing. one that's supposed to guide them. What's the point of being a parent then? So a lot of people were angry at this, saying like, no, you're going to raise a spoiled, entitled little troll that has never had boundaries, discipline, rules, anything, like no structure in their life. And then a no structured baby turns into a no structured young adolescent and adult. What happens when they don't get their way? That's what I'm saying. There's important things you have to instill in them yeah. early so they know how things work. Your goal is to set them up to then be independent on their own and be fine. So the first one, drinking coffee, yes or no? That's, no. A, health, that's a health risk, so no. Growing up, I heard like I couldn't even start drinking coffee until I got older because I don't know. I'm not a medical expert, but I'm not giving my kid coffee. Barefoot in public. Yes or no? No. No. Now you, now you, <laughs> no. Now you want them to step up? Have you seen outside? Right. Bro, I actually hurt my foot really bad. I stepped on a toothpick and it went on my foot. No food restrictions. That's not, no. Eat whatever. Krispy Kreme, gummy worms all day. The thing is, that's not fair because they don't know even what is good in that. So they're gonna pick whatever they see. Letting my son wear a dress. I decide what clothes I'm putting on my child. No, oh, yeah. That's it. Well, yeah, the kid just sees bright yellow. He's tapping it. He doesn't know it's a dress. Yeah, I think three year old, two year olds don't understand the concept of dress versus T-shirt, like, which is just why, like, the kids will eat anything because they don't know. They don't so know. all of a sudden, they know about genders and stuff. They don't. Outside showers. Oh, mom, right. in the dirt. I, I, I can understand being outside and get dirty or whatever. Shower though. When should you call CPS? Bro, anybody who would see like, why are you raising your kids like that? Oh, your kids are gonna get sick outside with the rain, no shoes. Bro, put some shoes on there. They haven't ate a fruit and I've never seen them eat anything healthy. Letting your toddler eat sand. This child's gonna die of a year. What, what's the next thing? Like letting them swim by themselves and they're two years old. Letting my toddler play with marbles that they're gonna choke on. I remember choking on marbles when I was a kid actually. Oh, it's all functional play. They're just trying to figure yeah, things out. So I grabbed this. It looks red. I've had a strawberry before. I don't know. Maybe I can eat like it's important to let your child fall and get up again and all that stuff, but in a controlled environment to where there aren't actual danger. What about letting my daughter shave her head? If your mom came home and they seen that you cut your hair a little bit with scissors, you're in trouble. Now it's like do it all. This yeah. one makes me feel weird because it's not a safety hazard. Letting my daughter shave her head. Like, was it her idea? It almost seems like it was her idea. I'm saying, like like it, the yeah. parents' idea. Did she go up to her mom and say, I want to shave, shave my, my head. head. Where is the and, clippers? And where'd you get that idea from? I wonder if any any girls our age, did y'all have a burning desire to shave your whole head off when you were six? I don't know. I've never been a girl, so I have absolutely no grasp on hair and what girls wanted to do, but. Well, like, I'm not raising my kids like that. Yeah. I don't know. But people are allowed to really do whatever they want with their kids. So, eat some sand. 